What is going on guys? Back here in my shop, off to another little shop series. Let's talk about that. All right guys, so things got a little bit crazy. I know you haven't had a video in a little bit. I tried to supplement as much as I possibly can, but with uh, Thanksgiving break, that sort of thing coming along, it was a little bit more challenging getting a video out. But now I'm back. You can see I've done a lot of things in the shop already. We've cut out 90 pieces of wood to make these little birdhouses, right? We've done a lot of cool things. There is a video which you'll get sometime this week, actually, maybe even next week of me trying to pour epoxy on this. This is the bottom of the table. I still haven't quite figured it out and it hasn't completely dried yet. And I don't know when it will dry, but I don't know, it's my first time pouring epoxy. No idea how any of this stuff works. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyways. I also did some other things. We got some electrical going on. We did an electrical unit and I wired up just a simple receptacle switch and light. You'll actually get a video on that probably next week, but I'm gonna film it later on this week. We also have more pieces of wood. Those all gotta get put away. I got some air filters for the shop. It completes the four. I need to get these taken apart. I need to get them uh, kind of set up and ready for maintenance to come through and put these guys up. I have the other one way over there. Uh, I got a broom donated. I just have to put the broom handle on the broom now. A couple new things. I'm supposed to get students back in this shop next semester. Now, I have to do a lot of cleaning and a lot of stuff and this shop series is mostly just going to be a total time lapse. I may stop every now and then and kind of explain what I'm doing. I also have something new. This is the rigid hybrid heater. It's like a uh, propane heater. Now. The issue with these indoors is that it does give off a little bit of carbon monoxide, which is a dangerous, like smell, odorless, tasteless gas. But I have one of these meters right here that will be able to kind of read how many parts per million of carbon monoxide it might be in the air. I'm doing a little countdown. And I'm at zero parts per million. I'm gonna do the average next time. But now it's gonna calibrate, we're gonna let it do its thing. So I got a couple things to do, a couple uh, exciting things we're gonna go through. We're gonna do a little bit of cleaning. I'll kind of stop every now and then and kind of explain what we're doing. But this shop series mainly is just going to be a time lapse of me getting this shop kind of back in order and back going. If there's something notable, I will make sure to stop and explain it to you guys. Let's get to it. <laughs> My whole goal is to put and continue on with this kind of pegboard material. I have like these plastic interlocking pegboards. They're kind of expensive, but they work beautifully and are just awesome. So I've kind of gone on and I've kind of uh, added these on. And my goal is to get all the way up to this area right here and to stop. 
Now there's a bunch of other, I mean, I could continue on, but I like these cabinets. So I kind of just want to like keep them on, maybe fix the, these little cabinets, but I like them right here. So this next time lapse you're going to see is me taking off these nails, putting out these interconnecting pieces. I'm using this Insole Drill Driver Valley at Milwaukee. This thing is fantastic. I was kind of against it, but it works like a freaking charm and it's, it's amazing. It comes with all these different heads, right angle, that sort of thing. If you're doing a lot of cabinetry, that kind of stuff, stuff my students are gonna be doing, this is pretty invaluable. Um, and it will come out when situations get a little rough. It shouldn't be, but this is uh, pretty incredible. So you're gonna see it in action here, driving in those things right now.
right, guys, back in the shop. You guys out to see some work done. This thing's really sweet, by the way. This little bridge, I'm gonna do a review on this one for sure, I think, 100%, but um, there's not enough of those out there. Maybe I'm just gonna do a bunch of tool reviews. It's winter, things are winding down in the shop. There's not a whole lot of projects anymore. Um, I've done a lot already, but I think when it comes down to it, I think I'm gonna start reviewing some tools, get you some, some of my favorite tools out there to review. Um, to give you guys a little bit of an explanation on what happened to this guy, I ended up putting some tools on there, but you can see I ended up getting the panel installed. This panel was installed uh, backwards, so that's why I had to cut these little pieces off. Um, but it ended up working out and I ended up getting it all right to begin, or not to begin with, to end with. Um, it looks like I have maybe one more section to go. Not too positive on how many more I have left. Maybe uh, maybe I'll get two more and just cut it or whatever. I, don't know, I gotta really figure it out. But I'm still, it's a work in progress always. This eventually will be filled with tools. They are not tools that you know students would use necessarily. They're just random tools that you definitely need in a shop and they're important to have. If there's something that we need really quick, we can just go with them. The student tools are gonna be over um, stored in their own student tool cabinet. All these tools are going to be tools that, you know, the advanced kids would use and kids that need, you know, a quick, you know, plumb bob or something would need to set a, uh, some sort of rafter, that sort of thing. But mainly used for quick storage. All my jigs are here. Um, but should be pretty good, should be pretty good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, as always, the shop series. We got a couple things done, and uh, hopefully soon we'll get a couple more things done. I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.